This is an ultrasound study of a 58 years old female uh, with the history of uh, backache for the last few months and as you will no lab profile, no x-ray findings, no detailed clinical notes are available to me. What I am seeing is that the liver is normal. You see this liver has normal smooth parenchymal ecogenicity, regular outer surface. Comparing its parenchyma with the kidney, right kidney, this one, this is the right kidney, this is the liver, smooth outer surface. Um, Ecogenicity is normal comparing with the kidney. Ecogenicity of both is normal. So these two organs are normal. This is the right hemidiaphragm, diaphragm, no fluid seen above the diaphragm, no fluid appearing. However, when I try to evaluate the gallbladder, you see multiple calculi uh, shadowing and uh, along with it. This is the gallbladder, and these are the calculi. <coughs> this is the port ruin, and this is the gallbladder with little maneuvering. Though the I lose the port ruin, but I still see <coughs> this is the calculus giving posterior shadow, a sludge. And now you can see there are multiple, these are the calculi, this is the lumen of the uh, gallbladder, this is the longitudinal section and transfer section, this is the transfer section, the gallbladder measures 3.7, this is normal as more than 5 is considered abnormal. Now the largest stone is measuring 14.3 millimeter in transfer Let's uh, focus on the other important uh, landmark which is the common bile duct. Now here you see that both. This is the portal vein and we know that the common bile duct forces anterior to the portal vein courses along it. So this is the common bile duct. It measures 7.3 millimeters. Up to seven is considered normal with intact gallbladder. So the common bile duct is within normal uh, dimensions. Also giving a margin uh, of the age as the patient is 58 years old. Now the lumen is clear, there is no calculi seen, the walls are regular, that of the common bile Now, Here you will see a small fluid filled pocket adjacent to the gallbladder wall. This is pericoli cystic tube, aquifer. This, this is the gallbladder and uh, this is the portal vein. This is the common bile and this is a 41 into 23 millimeter fluid pocket with internal echoes. Now you see that the, this echogenic area, slight echogenicity in this region and surrounded by black ring is in fact these are the echoes in the uh, peri the gallbladder. We also note that uh, the wall of the gallbladder is uh, Now the, if we measure the thickness of the gallbladder wall Five, uh, approximately 4.8, more than 4 is considered to be pathological, 
so there is uh, element of acute cholecystitis with cholelithiasis and uh, along with uh, a pocket of uh, picofil pocket fluid pocket that is pericholecystic fluid here it is this pocket this pocket is pericholecystic fluid And we can see that there is mild proximal level intrahepatic bile duct ectasia. Here it is. This is the portal vein. This is the common bile duct, and this is the pericholecystic fluid pocket. And there we see that there is minimal intrahepatic bile duct ectasia at the proximal level, though no intrahepatic bile ducts are seen dilated in uh, rest of the. This is the liver. Right lobe, and this is the liver left lobe. So, as such, uh, we do not see any intrahepatic bile duct activity of significance, though it is present. Now, all this scan was done while patient was in left atrial decubitus posture. And uh, in this patient, we also see. Let us see what is the status of the pancreas and when I move the probe in the epigastric region in transfer section, I see uh, well demarcated solid ecogenic area, even ecogenic area which is a lymph node. Now this is the lymph node. In the so, and uh, when I move the probe, towards the, in the longitudinal section, I see a lymph node in the, between the origin of the superior mesenteric artery from the aorta. This is the aorta, superior mesenteric artery rising from it. This is the lymph node. This is the other lymph node seen in the para-aortic region. As now the lymph node is also seen at the Paraaortic region and at the port of hepatic region as well. There is no significant mass effect on the, com the common bile duct. Here we are. See the calcone within the gonopolarity with sludge also. This is the pericholecystic fluid pocket, this area. This, this is the, these are the lymph nodes, the two lymph nodes, one the larger one, seen posterior to the uh, body of the pancreas. One, this is the second one, and this is the pancreas in class. This is the pancreas. All this is the pancreas, and this is the bowel. This is a bowel. This is the lymph node. This is the lymph node, and this is the portal. Well, this is the liver left lobe of the liver. So this is a case of acute cholecystitis with cholecystolithiasis <coughs> sorry with paraaortic plan adenopathy as well as paraaortic plan adenopathy and with the pericholecystic fluid there it is showing you again this area is the pericholecystic fluid. See the bleach, and this is the gallbladder. Gallbladder wall is thick. So this is our case of the day. Thank you. Bus the